dirty. Dirty, dirty. I can still see though, but right now it's dirty. I will try to uh, clean it with the windshield wiper fluid, but unfortunately it's frozen. Oh, woke up in a woke up in a winter storm this morning up in uh, Minnesota. Good to go. Let's get these bastards. God damn, it's cold. Look at all this snow. Look at all that. All oh, that came from last night. And last night wasn't no fun either. Couldn't even get, well, I, I got a little bit of sleep after I moved up in the front of the truck. But see, my idle policy is kind of, it's kind of jaded. Our idle policy, you know, the truck only idles for like five minutes. And then after that, the truck shuts off. So, I had to move to come up to the front seat cover and all you know what i'm saying and and turn the truck on I know you guys probably came across some of my videos of Blockout Man makes the call to some of these uh, uh, recruiters of, of these trucking companies out here. What I want to say is, you know, how everybody says, including myself, how everybody says that money and home time is important. Home time is important if you have a family now you know I had to I had to think about that for a minute because I, I always said what's important to a driver is home time and money but I, I never thought of it if you're you're a new driver coming into the game so if you're a driver that don't have kids don't have responsibilities you know it's not married a home time probably might not matter to you you know what i'm saying when i can't let, let me explain my situation when i when i came into the game that's what all the recruiters and i i will talk about that in a, in a in a in a later video but all the recruiters everybody that i have talked to all the recruiters that i have called all the recruiters that has called me they all say the same thing, the same thing. They always say, we got good home time. They never did say that you can make good money. They said that you can make money and give you the industry standard of how much money you can make a year. All companies would give you the industry standard of how much you can make a year. But they never did say that you can actually make good money but they always say we got excellent home time and I I said to them when I when I was coming into the game I said to them I said look home time doesn't matter to me doesn't matter to me at all you know and the reason and the reason my home time doesn't matter to me is my kid is already grown. He's a grown man right now. Alright. Me and my wife, we're separated. So when I was coming into the game, I was telling everybody, all the recruiters I talked to, I said, look, home time is not a big deal. When I got with US Express, you guys know that when I was with US Express, I was rocking. Alright? I, I I was rocking. When I, the, the first year that I started with them, after I came back home during tax time, I didn't come back home until August. My second year, I went home a couple of times. 
before I got let go, uh, I, I was almost out for six months. Or, no, it was, actually, it was after six months. It was after six months. Because I was let go in July of last year. Or, no, July of this year. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking it's 2018 already. But, um, I was let go from them July of this year. So at that point of when I got let go, I, I didn't go home. I wasn't home. I didn't go home. I didn't go home at all. You know. So when you guys come out here, you guys gotta weigh your options. Are you a young man that don't have no responsibilities that's coming out here? Or are you an old head like me that has minimal uh responsibilities? Or are you a cat that's coming out here that that has a lot of responsibilities? You gotta you gotta weigh each and every one of those options right there. You know. Let me let me take let me let me let me talk to the young cat first. Let, let me talk to you. Alright. You young. You 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 wanna come in the you wanna come in the truck and you're about how how old are you dude? You're about what? Twenty one? 21 years old, 22, 19 maybe, you know what I'm saying, why you want to come in the trucking, man, why, why, why you want to do this, why, you got to ask yourself, why you want to do this, because you're a young dude, when you come into this game, let me explain to you now, when you come into this game, this game is a different world, alright, when you come into the game, you're living in the background, dude, all right, all right, my cat. You're living in the background, and what I mean by living in the background is your social life. Your show, your social life is done. All right, not not to say that us truckers don't have a social life, my man. We we got a social life. You know, we we mingle. You know what I'm saying? We we try. At least myself. Let me tell you from my point of view. At least myself. I, I I try to I try to maintain some type of sanity, some type of social life out here. I try to I try to go to the malls. I try to go to the movies. I try to you know I I, I try to do things that still keeps me sane. But that's that's me though. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm trying to tell you, uh, my cat. You uh, when you come out here, you gonna be living in the background you you're gonna be going from shipper to receiver that's that's gonna be your thing now shipper receiver truck stop or rest stop okay you saying that uh, that you can still maintain a social uh, a social life out here I'm saying I can I don't know about the other cats I'm saying I can all right, but I'm saying it's hard. It's hard to maintain a social life in trucking, my man. You know, if you come, if you, if you're a type of person that likes to be around people and and hang out with your friends and and like to go out on Saturdays and Sundays and all like that, like to go out with your friends Saturday nights and all like that, you can't do that in trucking. All right, especially if you're an over the road driver, you know, some company's gonna inspect you to be out two weeks at a time. And and look at it, and, and look at this though. Let, look at this, cat. You're gonna you're gonna be out for two weeks at a time. We're only getting one day off. So if you get if you work a whole month and you want to take some time off. The next following month, you're only going to get two days off of that week. And then you got to work, and then you got to start over again. Some drivers out here, you know, are away from home. Months on end. Some of them years. But let me tell you this, though. That, that might be a good idea for you, though. It might be a good idea for you. You, you know what I'm saying? A good idea. Yeah, 
it's, it's a good idea. You, you young dude, listen. You don't have no responsibilities, my man. I mean, listen. You don't have no responsibilities. You don't, you, you don't have a house. You don't have a car. You know what I'm saying? You can come out here and live in the truck for at least a year. I, I say, I say two years because your first year, your first year is going to be kind of rocky because you're going to the first few months you're going to train, and then after you after you get off your trainer's truck, you gotta you gotta get your own truck, and then you gotta get your your foot grounded. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to be hard in itself in the first year. So don't expect to come out here and, and get rich, all right? Don't, don't try to think that you're gonna come out here and get rich. You're gonna get comfortable. Take that first year to set yourself up and then take that second or third year, take that second or third year to save up your money. I mean, really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, my man, you, you, you young. Let, let me give you these tips before I, before I move. I'm gonna tell you, give me a minute, I got I gotta think about it. You're brand new coming out of CDL school and you got that fresh, crisp CDL license. Tip number one, protect your license, all right? Protect, protect your license at all times, all right? Your license is your life. You know what I'm saying? When you come out here and you choose the company that you wanna choose, do your do your research on on the company that you wanna uh, that you wanna kick into. When I came out, recruiters always like to talk about home time. Well, home time and money. You can make this, you can make that, and all like that. Home time and money. I know you hear me, man. I know you hear me. So let let me let me give you tip number two. Tip number two, man, is when you're choosing the company that you want to go with, look into the company itself. They say there's a driver shortage out here. They say truckers drive the American economy. If that's the case, we could be in trouble. 50,000 more drivers are needed by the end of 2017, and that number could more than triple in 10 years. Trucking companies is changing with the times. A lot of these companies now have automatics, all right? You want to save that left leg, man, I'm, I'm telling you. Driving an automatic, driving an automatic is a beautiful thing. A lot of these old school truck drivers go, oh, man, you're a pussy. You ain't no real trucker if you don't, if you don't have a stick shift in the truck. No, man. I am a real truck. I, I'm, I'm saving my left knee over here. <laughs> Look for the amenities in the truck. You're going to be out on the road for months on end. And you want the amenities to be, you know, to, to reflect that. Does the truck have a refrigerator? An inverter. Can you put an inverter in the truck if it doesn't come with it? Does it have an APU? A lot of the newer trucks now that's coming out comes with APU. And me personally, I am spoiled. I, I do not want to get in another truck that does not have an APU. Some companies offer idle policies. So that's what you want to do. You want to look at you want to look at the amenities in the truck. The last tip that you want that I got for you, if if I hadn't if I hadn't mentioned it already, don't get nothing. Don't buy things. Don't buy a house. Don't buy a car. If you already have a car, that's cool. But don't buy a car. Don't buy a house. Hell, don't even rent, dude. When you come off the road, let's say if you want to, let's say if you do want to go home for a minute, you want to go and visit the family. You want to, you want to go and visit your moms or something like that, dude. Just uh, grab yourself a hotel. Or ask one of your family members if you can come and crash for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, take a week off or something like that, go over to your mama's house. You know, go to your mama's house, man. Look, the object for you here is, youngin, 
is to save as much money as you can. I, I, I want you to start. This is what you do. Every paycheck that you get, that you're going to start getting, I, I want you to take out about $100. At the most, all right. Take out 150. I'm, I'm just going. Let's, let's go with the low end on that. Let's go with 600. So, out of 600 dollars, you, you, you take your, you take your expenses out. You, you want some money for washing your clothes, money for food, groceries, and you want an entertainment fund. So those are the three things that you want. You want groceries, laundry. And an entertainment fund. Alright, every week, hey, oh. $150 come out of your paycheck and it'll go into your savings and you won't even notice the difference. You know what I'm saying? You'll notice at the end of the month that you got about that you got about six, seven, eight hundred dollars saved up. And I'm saying do this for a couple of years, man. You know? Do this for a couple of years. And and come back to me and tell me what, what, what how, how's your bank account? You gonna man? Look, I, I'm gonna want I, I'm gonna want fifty dollars for my for my uh for my time with you. I, I want fifty dollars for that. But I'm I'm telling you, that's what you do. You save save your money, man. Save your money. You're young. You're young. You know. Get out of here, do the damn thing, save your money. So 25, 20 cents or something like that, you'll have a nice little bank account. You have a you'll have a nice little bank account, and you still young enough to either continue your trucking career or you can roll over and and and, and do something else. Right, you're saving, you're saving your money. That's good. Save your money. Maybe down the line when you're 25, 26, maybe then you can think about owning your own truck or leasing the truck. But when you get into this game, don't jump into leasing or owning the truck off the bat. Uh, you you don't know you don't know the game. You don't know the system. You don't know how the system works. You want to make sure that you know how the system works. You want to make sure that you get the best loads. You have some money saved up or put away for in case your truck breaks down. Because if you're going to lease it right when you come into this game, you got to understand, your truck payment comes out of your paycheck every week. And these trucks ain't cheap. We looking at about seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a week. And and think about it, young dude. If you take some time off, like like two days, or you could take two days, you can do your 34. But if you take more than two days off, you in the hole. You in the hole, my man. You in the hole. Alright? So take this advice and let it work in your head. Let it process. You know, I'm 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 hoping you're getting something out of this. Alright. I'm hoping you're getting something out of this. Alright. The main thing is, is that if you don't have no responsibilities or nothing like that, save your money when you come into this game. Don't don't automatically get into this game and start spending money and and three, four years later you don't have nothing to show for it. You know, you don't have nothing to show for it. Three, four years later, I want you to have something to show for it. I'm broke. You broke? I'm broke. Gina, baby, I don't have no money. I don't have no end. Gina, I'm ass out. <laughs> I done told you that. You, how are you broke, bro? Because I, I, I was reckless with my money. Oh my god! See, that's what I don't want you to. That's what I don't want you to be. All right. That's for you, young, and that's for that's for me to you. All right. You know what I'm saying? 
I, I hope y'all take this and and learn from it. Alright? Learn from it. Take this and and learn from it. And for all of you guys, all of you guys, alright? When you calling up and you doing your homework and your research on all these companies out here, because there is a lot, you know what I'm saying? And they are gonna entice you with a lot of a lot of stuff. One company gonna offer a sign-on bonus bigger than what the other company is that the other company is offering. But don't don't take that as a go I mean as a major decision in your decision making process because just because a company is offering 10,000, 15,000 close to $20,000 in sign on bonus you got to ask yourself why is they offering that much money for a driver Employment market for truck drivers is what I would call hyper competitive, and we feel it every day. We always say uh, yesterday was our easiest day. Do your homework. Get your, get a book out. Get a list together. Get a list of questions. Don't just let the the, the recruiters talk you into talk you into the. Uh, don't let the recruiters talk you into the company without asking questions. Ask a lot of questions. No question, no bad question is a good question to ask. And trust me, if you've seen my videos, if you've seen my videos, a lot of recruiters don't like asking, I mean answering a lot of questions. They want to they wanna sell the company, which is good too, all right? But you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to sell the company you got to give me a reason to buy so all you guys do the due diligence and looking for a company to get with. and make sure that you are mentally mentally physically physically prepared to come out here and live on this road because that's what you're going to be doing you're going to be living on the road and if a and one last thing one last thing and then i'm about to go i'm about to go I'm about to go hold up no uh, okay uh, well, wait a minute now but uh, there is one more thing if the recruiter tell you you're going to see the world if, if you ask them this one question, what is the re what is the number one reason why I should why why I should stay uh, come with this company? And if they say, and if they turn around and say, oh well, you'll see the world. Don't take that. Yeah, you're gonna see the world, all right. You're gonna see the world at 68 miles an hour. 